the new Janelle Joanna Charmaine. Frumpy to fabulous makeovers. That's a plus 10 right there. Right now. Coming in and thanks for watching. They've been called fat, gross, and lazy. And my guests admit they've let themselves go just a little bit. But no matter how miserable they are, they're tired of constant badgering to get them to lose weight. Take a look at this. My name is Dawana. I weigh 280 pounds, and I don't think my husband is attracted to me anymore. When I try to get intimate with him, he'd rather watch porn instead. He yells at me because of the way that I eat, and he thinks that I dress like a man. You look like a stud. Yeah, I do. Thank you. And when I try to put on a dress, he insults me. Man, you look fat. He calls me well, blunt, fat ass, ugly. I used to wear sexy clothes when I was thinner, but now that I've gotten bigger, I have no self-confidence. And to be honest, I'm quite sick of Bernie's insult. He either accept me for who I am, or I'm gone. Please welcome Dewana to the show. Dewana, how you doing, honey? <laughs> Dewana, why are you here today? I am here because, one, I am tired of Randall's insults. Two, I'm sick of him for insults, meaning he's called me fat, <laughs> called me a whale, blimp, everything in the book, you name it, and I'm tired of I how really am. How long have you been with him? I've been with him for almost a year now. We've been married for almost a year. What was your weight approximately about a year ago when you first hooked up with your man? I want to say figuratively, maybe 180. 98 pounds. So how much, how, uh, how much have you put on? A lot. I can't even tell you Maybe how much I wear. Pounds. I weigh in that, in that. So you might have put on as much as 100 pounds. You can say that. Talk about how this has affected your relationship with your this man. This has affected my relationship so much to the point where I think he's cheating. There's been numerous times where I've looked through his phone. He's talking to different women, asking for their numbers, asking them to send vulgar pictures of their breasts, their vagina, everything. He's giving them their numbers. Mm. And I'm, I'm tired of it. It's sickening. It, he disgusts me. To he the calls point. you all these rotten, dirty names, fat, slob, all that kind of stuff. What image does that give to you from the person you love, Randall, when, when the person you love is calling you these kind of names? H how, do, how do you internalize that? I internalize it as that's how I look. And since he's been saying it for so long, that's how I feel. And how I feel, I look at myself in the mirror. And every time I look at myself in the mirror, I see that that's who I really am. But before I met him, I used to be lively, dress up, go out, wear heels, everything, the whole nine yards. But since we've been married, it's been a total disaster. And it's like a monster. That's not my husband, that the man that I married. That's not him. So today, today's the day you want to give him a wake-up call. And this cheating is an important thing for, for a woman because you have found nude photos of other women on his phone and you see all this porn and X-rated stuff. Does that make you feel as it if... It makes me feel sick to my stomach for as the porn wise like we're married we're young we should be having sex all the time but instead you want to sit here and watch porn on your phone or go talk to other women or leave out the room or go see other women he doesn't even that. kiss you anymore no he doesn't no intimacy no Nothing, kissing no kissing no hugging no rubbing no touching none of that wow is it is the, is the more he talks to you and the more he hurts you with his words the more you eat which is like a medicine. Do, do you I eat? I eat every day around the clock. Around the clock. When he's asleep, I'm eating. When he's at work, I'm eating. I can call him at work. Can you bring me a milkshake? Why? Why? Because I, I feel gross. I really do. Because of the fact of how he calls me out of my name makes me feel like who I am. Because you feel gross, you want to keep doing the things that make you gross. That's your image. Is that, is that what's going on here? Exactly. That talk is my me, image. Talk to me about the miscarriage because it's terrible when a woman, a mother has a miscarriage. But in your case, talk about that. I ended up pregnant from Randall. And once I ended up pregnant, um, everything was going fine until I found out I had a miscarriage. I went to the doctor's appointment and I found out I had a miscarriage. And after the miscarriage, that's when things started to get rough. He started to not look at me, stop talking to me, stop touching me, stop all the intimacy. And then that's when all the names began to start wow. coming you and know, he took hard it harder enough, than me. It's hard enough for a woman to deal with a miscarriage. But when you're dealing with the miscarriage and the condemnation of your man, along with the verbal assaults, 
that's when the moment began you started gaining all this weight. Exactly. Every bit of it, like from the point of me losing my child, it's enough that I have to go through something like that to deal with him and losing a child. I still haven't got over my son dying. I haven't got over it. And now it's like dealing with him calling me names and insulting me in front of his friends, my friends. Talk to me about I'm, this. I'm, yeah. I'm done. I'm done with it. It's either he accept me for who I am or he got to go. One thing or another. I can't deal with this. Please welcome Dewana's husband, Randall, to show. Randall, come on out. You fat old gorilla, need to lose some weight. Look like I'm a like this because baby. of you, though. No, nah, you like ain't like this because of me. you. No, nah, no. Yes, nah. I am. You what do you call it? Nah. What do you call it? When you call me out of my name, nah, fuck nah, me nah. every day. All right, Lyman. Every man. day. You call me a girl, look like a man. Look at you. Okay, because look. of you, though. problems with your wife. What are they? Bill, when I first when we got married, she was looking good, skinny, nice body, everything. Everything was good with us. But now, everything that falls like a big old house. You have no softness in your heart for the fact she had a miscarriage and lost your son. But and from that point on, things got worse. How about some sympathy? How about I some love? Sympathy. How about in sickness and health till death do us part? How about that? But I do, Bill. You do? I do. I don't see any sympathy. I see anger. I see condemnation. Look at this woman. What's in your heart right now, Dewana? What's in? He disgusts me. I just want him to go. Since you got another, did you say take be happy with her. Since you can't accept me for who I am. Let's do this. We have to continue. But you reached out to me to try to save this relationship, not try to destroy. Are you willing to change your behavior? You understand your words are weapons you use against the person you love. Don't use those weapons against her. Why don't you encourage her to do better instead of Bill, criticize I have encouraged her. I try to get this out. This is how you encourage her, Randall? Bill, I try to get her to go out of the house and go, like, to the mall with me. But you don't. She sit in the house, eat ice cream, pizza. That's places that you want to go. You but never no. asked me. Day one, you never asked me. I what? asked you oh, where like. you want to go. No, you have not. Yes, I have. No, you have not. Yes, I have. Okay, Randall. Yeah, okay, what? How do you treat her in front of your friends? What, what kind of things do you say? Okay, look, one of my friends come over, chill with me. She be like, in the room, chilling. I'm like, babe, you can come out, chill with me and my friend. Like a man, I don't want I don't come out, it's because you insult me in front she of them. She like a man you when she dresses. You insult me in front of pants and a shirt. A lot more shirt. coming up. Stay right there. We're coming. Big battle of her weight heats up. If you can't treat her like your wife, then you don't deserve her. She can come stay with me. Don't miss the fight. This is your wife. This is your wife. It does not matter. Another shocking confession. What has a child with this stuff like this? This is all of the fact we lost the child. And unbelievable transformations. We have another perspective on this. Please welcome Dewana's best friend, Ariana, to the show. Ariana, come on out. Look at you. You are so trifling. You trifling. You trifling. Oh, That's your wife. You gonna talk to her like she's stupid? Y'all yeah, both look so, like linebackers. So, look at you. So, look at your nose. It's brand wide open. No, what you open. gonna do is you gonna sit right there and you gonna stay away from her because if you can't treat her like your wife, then you don't deserve her. She can come stay with me. We don't need her. We don't need her. But you came and got her from what we was. Look, you came and got her to marry her. You a linebacker too. Y'all came and got her to marry her. 
You Y'all gonna be together. Okay, well, why she calling me on Thanksgiving crying? Let's sit down, Ariana. Shut. No. Talk to me about Thanksgiving. What Thanksgiving. happened? What she happened? She called me. I'm driving to North Carolina for a family reunion slash Thanksgiving. She called me crying because he done got upset throwing a little temper tantrum like he 12 because he ain't like the way she cooked the food. What? You're 21 years old, man. You, you got this woman. You got her pregnant. She had the miscarriage. What impact in this relationship, Ariana, did the miscarriage have? Was that the moment? I, to me, I feel all the time. It. To me, that's when it all fell. I guess because he couldn't be a man enough and talk to him and be open and say, oh, I feel like this. You hurting, I'm hurting too. We both lost a child. Yeah. And he just acting like a child. This, yeah. this is a child's demeanor. H how uh, harmful. does not act like this. How harmful to, to your best friend is his behavior? Very, when we first we first met in college, we were going to school for being to be a medical assistant. Yeah. We she used to hang out. She used to come get me out to bed. I was the one that didn't want to go nowhere. She was the active one. She, she was, was going, let's, crazy. Let's go to bed. Let's let's but really? 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 This how Did you, he this, squash really? your self-esteem? Is he the one he, that took this flower? But no, look, from the day he stepped in and everything went to hell, this is how you acting. This is no, cool. I had, Randall, this is how do you take responsibility? Acting. When you met her, she was young and attractive, and attractive and everything, beautiful. Bill, and do you take you some responsibility this. for her I status? Did nothing. You did this. She this, did this, that herself. This, it's you. No, this that, is not my best friend. This that is, is not your how she looks. That's how she looks when she, she keep her hair done. No. Me. She tell me to get my hair done. No, so for that, her to she look like that, that. No. She calls all that. No. She calls all that. This is your wife. This is your wife. She got that. This is your wife. It does not matter. Yes, it do, ma'am. What, what makes her happy is your priority. Oh, now, what right. how she look? No. Who cares what your homeboys think? No. That's your wife. That's who you want to get with. The woman I married was skinny and nice. So, it doesn't what matter. What do you think you want? The man she married is a loud mouth. You're a loud mouth. That's what you are. You're a loud mouth. You're a loud mouth. You're a loud mouth. Let me ask you this. What do we do? What happens? It, it, what happens at the end of this show? We're going to have a tremendous makeover. It's going to be fundamentally different. But if your cruelty toward her continues, if you keep cheating on her with porn and X-rated photos and this B that you talk about you got on the side, this relationship's going nowhere, right, honey? Exactly. It's it going, ain't going nowhere. nowhere. It, ain't it ain't going nowhere because she ain't going back with him. Just a makeover makes him change his feelings on her for what? Right. What about better or worse? Rich, rich, rich look, and it ain't my fault how she Look. How about your how behavior toward her? You take responsibility. How I look when I first met her, she was looking good. I love her she is. Now, everything look like a big old house, linebacker. What look it Look like a big old football player that you could go You and her run. husband ain't supposed to say, baby, you getting big. You know what? Let's go exercise together. I do. Let's that. go walk. Yeah. I Let's go get it together. I asked her, do she want to go to the gym? Because she don't want to go. She want to sit in the house, smoke a cereal, Because if she don't want to do something you want to do, and then all, but, it's all oh, loose random. Random go nah. crazy. I am going crazy. crazy. Wait, I'm a, how you can't say Yelling her about the food don't taste good. She look big. She look like Miss Piggy. She, she look, look like, like Miss Piggy. Whoa, for real? Look. She that's look no like way to talk piggy. to your wife. This is your oh, wife. Oh, 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 and if she would have had no child, would you still be acting like this? If she wouldn't have had a miscarriage, would you still be acting like this? No. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? So this is all about? over the fact that we lost the child. Ain't all that. This is all over the fact we lost the child. You got like that because you lost the child. You got like that because you lost the child. You don't never really? hear him say out. Really? You're not no, never hear him say out. We're together, baby. We're together. together. Look, look, there's look, look, too long, there's baby. no together. I in team. It's our, our baby, our house, our way. All right. All right, let's do this, Kawana. At the end of the show, we're going to give you a fabulous makeover. Why would you want to stick with this dude if this is his behavior to you in private? Why do you want to stay with him? She ain't. She ain't. As long as I got breath in my body, I'd be damned if she going back over there with him. So she needs to find another man. She better get the... I'll go to Tallahassee. Let's get the packing because you ain't going back. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. We'll be back. This is who he is, this is who he always gonna be. And if a makeover change how he feel about you, then that lets us know the marriage won't real from John. Another debate over weight. You need to stop talking about my daughter. I well, have your daughter off. Help your child off. You don't do nothing for baby hurts. Shocking video. You're too fat to wear clothes like that. You're too fat, baby. You're just too fat. In the moment you can't miss. If you want to keep your woman, you better teach your woman right because she don't got to say and take this. Look at that, honey. She can go get another man. So what's your
Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. My guests today admit they have weight problems, but they want their loved ones to stop teasing them because they're a mess for a reason. Please welcome Charmaine, her cousin Kim, and her mother Andrea to the show. Ladies, how you doing? Good. 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 Now, before we hear from Kim and Andrea, Charmaine, why are you here today? I'm here today because first, I want my cousin Kim to stop talking about, which is her, to stop talking about the way I look. She thinks I'm like the biggest person in the world. And as y'all can clearly see, she's bigger than me. So she thinks, and then my mom, like she sides with my cousin. They're like, oh, Charmaine, you're She got so those fat. two against you. Yes, basically, it's like, I'm by myself. It's like, oh, Charmaine, you need to lose weight. You're fat, you're this, you're that. And I'm looking at them like, you're bigger than me. So, so tell you, you need to stop talking about my daughter. I well, have your daughter on. Have your child on. Daughter. You don't do nothing for baby her. You don't baby her. Y'all not baby. 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 Y'all what is your main problem with your... The way she, her appearance, her low self-esteem. But how's her appearance that much different she than yours? We go out, we go out, Bill. That's how she dresses. Like a man. And then she be like, oh, nobody want to be with me. She's had one boyfriend, right? One, yes, and I he did. broke her heart. Um, he what what her happened? Heart. What happened in high school? It was my senior year in high school, and I was dating this guy. And he broke up with me because he was like, oh, he think I'm getting too big. And I was like, what? I was like... That doesn't make any sense. So he cheated on me with like two skinny girls. And so I was like, okay, that's cool. That hurt you so much. It did. And you needed cousins and friends and mothers yeah, to support so you. Instead of support you. Instead of support you. You did support I did. I, did. I, did. I, did. I no. bought her Louis Vuitton. I bought her Gucci. She, she did. sold it. She did. She sold it. She did. She she sold did. it. $800. $800. Oh, $800. Oh, she you sold it. Why'd you sell it? I sold it because she already know. I know what Why'd you sell Louis? You sold Louis. the way Charmaine dressed, and I have told Charmaine, because she was a little child growing up, she always looked like a girly girl in dresses and everything, but when she got to high school, this she played basketball. So that's the way she liked to dress. Exactly. And like and I told her, her, her talk, said, you be quiet. Ooh. When she's ready, yeah. when she's ready to change, she will change, because she's a gorgeous girl. Everybody can look at her and see how beautiful, beautiful. she All right, is. Let me, let me talk to her. Charmaine, hold on. Now 
she you, had, Mama, that's in the dash. Let me was, talk to Charmaine. Well, she was my cousin. Shut I don't know what that is. Shut up. I don't know what that is. Let me talk to Charmaine. That's not Charmaine. My cousin. Charmaine, yes. tell me the uh, image yeah, that you me. have. Hold on now, ladies. What is the image that you have of yourself? In other words, when, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? I see. I do think I'm big, but you know, it's because of my cousin, you know, her discouraging words are, oh, you're fat, you're this, you're that, you know, and that, them words hurt. What, what does she, she do in a restaurant with friends? What kind of stuff does she we do? We went out to a restaurant and you know, it was a group of us. It's, uh, all my friends had on like heels, dresses, skirts, and I wore, because I'm not comfortable with myself. Because you I dress wore, differently. Yeah, this is, yeah, because I dress differently. I wore like sweatpants, a pair of Jordans, and a hoodie. And they looking at me like... So they had push-up bras and you had a hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> basically, basically. And my friend, and my cousin was like, why she dressed like that? And my cousin was like, oh, that's because she's uncomfortable with the way she looks. She thinks she fat, she thinks she this. What do you wear to church? Uh, well, to church, I wear this? basketball shirt. This, this is my. This, this is your outfit. This, I wear bandanas. I wear all that. This. Do is, you want confidence and strength I back? I do. I do. You want it back. I want it back. What if we provide to you later on a makeover significantly different than what you are today? Will you accept that? I will accept it. And you, you understand? Maybe they got a little bit of a point, but you do it in a mean, nasty. Yeah. I understand, I understand You beat her like I this. Bill. You gotta quit beating on I'm her trying. like this. I know, but you like, gotta start when I try to be nice to her, it, it doesn't get to her skull. So it's, I feel as though, okay, maybe if I get her tough love, then she'll understand. This isn't tough love. Like, this is mean love. I would, I, would rather, mean. I would rather me talk about her than somebody in the streets go talk about her. No, no, you can't. Not here for Nobody love. should talk to her, especially she, blood. Especially it don't get, if you no, are no, no, no. do are you, anx I are you anxious to see her makeover? Yes. Are you anxious to see her? I really, I want my cousin, I want the love and the hype, and I love myself, Charmaine, but that's what I want. I want my cousin, I don't want this. All right, well, let's see what happens. Later on in the show, we're going to have a serious makeover. Okay. And you'll be happy about that? Yes, yes. I really but will. most importantly, will you be happy? I will be happy. Are you happy. willing to accept a little bit of help? I'm, really, I'm willing. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. The video you've been waiting for. So my mom needs to accept me for the way I am or I'm gone. The confrontation you can't miss. Okay, I let you slide with this somewhat when you were coming up, but now you're a brand new mother. You need to look like a mother, because you need to get out here and get a job. And the makeovers you won't believe. Mama, come here, Mama. Mama, 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 your girl is back. Are you and your siblings constantly fighting? Do you want to work out your differences and put the past behind you? Tell us your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. You know, as you've seen, today's guests are being harassed about their weight on a daily basis by their very own family members, and they want it to stop today. Watch what my next guest goes through every day. Hi, I'm Janelle. I'm 5'2 and I weigh 260 pounds. I have no confidence in myself because my mom constantly calls me fat. Aren't you tired of being fat? No. She hates everything I wear and insults me on how I look. Lord have mercy, give me strength. Janelle, you can't go on no interview like that. Why not? You got to be kidding me. Oh, no, Janelle. It's the professional look. I got the suspenders. You can't go nowhere like that, honey. Janelle, you're too fat to wear clothes like that. You're too fat, baby. You're just too fat. She been calling me fat since I was a kid. She hates what I eat and think I put food before my own baby. You do not need this. You don't need that. I actually love the way I look, so my mom needs to accept me for the way I am or I'm gone. Please welcome Janelle to the show. Janelle, how you doing, honey? Janelle, why are you here today? I'm here today because I'm so tired of my mama. She always nagging me about my weight. Okay, I'm a big girl, but I mean, there's room in the world for big girls. No question like, about it. And I'm, I got confidence, but the way my mom, she's my mother, she's my best friend. How long has this been going on? Since I was little. Constantly. Like, has it worked? Has her insults worked? 
No, it's actually the Lord, my self-esteem. Like, and if you have a low self-esteem, you do things in your life that make you feel bad eat. because that's how you view yourself. Yep. That's the problem. Yep. And uh, t talk about other family members. Is it everywhere you go, you catch it? My sister, like, we, we, we're a year apart, and we kind of look like, but she's smaller than me. So, you know, when I try to wear the stuff that she wears, she be like, you know, that, that don't fit you. Like, that's ugly. And I have friends, and they'll be around. They'll support what I wear, but it's like when it comes from family, you would think your family going to tell you the truth before your friend. It isn't just your weight, it's your look. In other words, your mom thinks your look isn't feminine enough. Yeah, because I got eczema on my skin. I was born with it. You know, I didn't just go put a black marker on my skin. So she constantly tell me, like, use your medicine. Use the medicine that the doctor gave you. And it's like, when you keep hearing it, it's like, huh, I don't want to. You can't take it. So you got a hold of me to say to your mom, back off. Back but also, up. you want a makeover today. Yes. You want one badly. Yes, because I want to show her that I can look professional. Like, I, I can just the par. And so your favorite meals are like pizza, yeah. hamburgers, <laughs> french fries, potato chips. Chili cheese fries. Chili cheese fries, cupcakes. Yeah. You got it all. Waffle yeah. fries. Yes, I You do. like it all. Yes, and I'm going to go buy it, too. You're yes. going to go get some. Yes. And it's not going to stop. Yep. But you need a makeover today. Yeah, I want to show And you had a baby four months ago, right? Yeah. You got that beautiful little baby yes. boy. I love my baby so. And mom just keeps riding you, doesn't she? Yeah, she, she thinks, like, my energy be down in the morning. He'll be, he'll be crying. He'll be crying, and I'll just be laying there, like, I mean, because in the morning, I don't be having energy. I don't. You got nothing. So I know if I do drop a couple pounds, I get up, you know, be ready for my little man. And that's part of the reason why I'm here, too. Let's meet mama. Please welcome Janelle's mother, Carol, to the show. Carol, come on in. Give us some time, honey. Give us some time. Wait a minute. That's the way we. That's the way she was when she was at home. I know. I know. Wait a minute. Your hair. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We on TV, oh honey. It's so all right. Okay. This is the way she care. looks. What's your Why problem you with? Care? Because Why you don't care. Because it's me. But you part of me. It's me. Okay. And, and unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> well, it's me. Let's it's go over me, the. Though. What's unacceptable? You gotta take me for who I am. This is a beautiful. You know, no you without me. Yeah. Okay. You part of. Mom, if you can't take it, then go. You are a new mother. Okay, I got you slab with this somewhat when you were coming up. But now you're a brand new mother. You need to look like a mother. Because you need to get out here and get a job. A real job. Are you, not a temporary job. You, you, you got a child to take care of. Your appearance has got to come up. Do you see her doing this? Do you Ooh, see Lord have mercy. I mean, you're like beating her with a club and she's doing this on stage. You, that ain't how she do me at home. What is she I doing? I better back up. I well, better back up. So I you better back you up. You two go at it pretty okay, good. Okay, we about to. We about to. You done put me in a state of shock here right now. Ooh, I need this an example. I need an example. Gym shoes, like I'm comfortable. You can't be it's out here all tight. You know what I'm saying? And not like, loose either. Not that loose either. You know, it's time to learn to control when some I go of to it. Interviews, tighten I it up. I want to dress. Pull it up. Tuck I put it in. Accessories how I want to. Wait a minute, Mama. Are you saying she's right got to pull it up and she got to tuck it in? Well, hell, yeah, when she wear them tight clothes, she walking like this, pulling it up and down. Hell, yeah, which one you? Which way you gonna go? Is you dancing? You can't go no interview like that. Okay? No, no. You can't do that. She can't get a job. You gotta look like you to get a get a I job. Know Let me get there, walk around. You can't see anything. You can't see nothing. And you wonder why you spill stuff on the front of you. Anyway, let me give you a let me give you Put an your example. Hand down. Let me give you an example. When we went, I took her out to eat to, uh, for her birthday. Did we you get to, some waffle fries? No, no, we went to Red Lobster. Red, Red Lobster fries, Red, Bill. Red Lobster. I love those biscuits. I Red, love those I love biscuits. Gold. I love those. I love those I biscuits. Ordered food. Look. She ordered food and she anyway, wanted to eat my food. Bill, Bill, and her. I, look. You know, the owner, me and you, they got the dessert, the, no, the appetizer, the, with the dessert, the entree. You didn't need the dessert, the, you didn't need the appetizer, the you just needed a salad. <laughs> for the money, I bought it. I bought everything. You bought it all. I bought it all. You took the left so side of the menu. She, I'll take this she, right that's there. That's right, the whole damn side. The whole thing. The whole to get some little rice and a shish kebab with shrimp. Okay, oh, okay. this is your birthday. I'm paying for it. You want to eat that? I still okay. I'm going to eat appetizer. I ain't so, trying to get big as a big bull wow. I, mean, I, so anyway, I don't want to be a whale. I don't want so, my daughter to be a whale. I ate all my food.
food. So um, as I'm eating, yeah, the you little bitty all petite, all right. the little bitty petite waitress come up and she asks, "Do I need anything else?" Y'all don't want to know. What did you say when she said, "Alone"? We don't need no more food. <laughs> all right. Mama, do you want her look to change? Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Do I want her look to change? I'm going to get on my knees on that one. Come on, honey. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. Lord have Lord, mercy. Lord have mercy. Bless my Lord, child. Bless my child. To, to bring her to a professional level. <laughs> to be a mother. You got you a mother. Mom, She's she a mother, like Lord. Her. I'm going to send you, Dewan and Charmaine, backstage for the biggest surprise celebrity makeover Ooh, anyone has ever seen. Stay right there. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. Do you want to make a difference? I'd like to hear how you would get to the root of the problem in this relationship. Do you think Charmaine will listen to her cousin Kim and start dressing like a woman? Call 1-855-TELL-BILL to give us your opinion. You'll hear how the rest of America answered and receive today's valuable offers. Call 1-855-TELL-BILL. Before the break, we sent the ladies backstage to get makeovers and prove that big can be beautiful. And we have the best in the business to make them over and give these women back their confidence to come out here and strut their stuff. She's a television personality and owner of Tasty, a boutique for the fabulous plus size girl. Please welcome Tiana Smalls to the show. Tiana, come on out, honey. Tiana, you prove it, but how can a plus size girl be fabulous? Just like a skinny girl. It's all about what you got. Whether you're skinny or fat, a bad chick's a bad chick, and that is that. So. <laughs> Let's begin with Tasty Boutique. What do you do at Tasty? Well, at Tasty, uh, being a relationship expert, I come across women all the time that want to change their look. And believe it or not, when you change your look, you change your outlook on love. So I started Tasty for the bigger girl because I wanted them to look fierce and just, like, I don't want a girl to go out with a slimmer girl and feel like they can't look just as fly. So two of the dresses you're going to see today is from Tasty, and I hope you like it. I tell you, and big is beautiful. Tasty, no course. question. You've done it. Yes. Big is beautiful. Of course. Let's get started. Yeah. Now, remember that Dewana is tired of Randall's verbal and sexual neglect mm. over the past several months and years. It's a problem. But you took her. You took Dewana and you made it fabulous and beautiful. Is that right? Yes. Yes. We, we really hooked up a little bit, you know. We Let's go back in time. Here's what she looked like before. All right, let's see now the new gorgeous, sexy Dewana. Come on out, honey. Got to work it. Before I get to Tiana, Randall, Randall, here is your woman that you have spent long, long hours degrading and humiliating. Here she is. What do you say, Randall? That's a plus 10 right there. That's a plus 10. <laughs> All right. All right. What did you do? Okay, so what we did, well, we put a red dress on her. This is not from Tasty, but it's a beautiful red dress. And I wanted to, like, bling her out. So I put the little necklace on her. Her toes and her nails is already fabulous. So she's ready to go. She's That's, ready it. To go. That's, That's it. That's it. Yeah. And that color. Look at Randall. Look at Randall. Look at Randall. You better watch it, brother. All right. And the color bring out her complexion, so it's all she, cute. She's beautiful. All right, how do you feel now? I feel amazing. I feel like who I used to be That's a long right. time ago, but now hey, you should always feel that way. You should always feel that way. Beautiful woman. That's it. All right, let's That's move on. on. Let's move on to Charmaine. Her cousin Kim and her mother Andrea 
you want her to dress like a girl and get back to dating. Here's what she looked like before. And now, are you ready for the newer, hotter Charmaine? Charmaine, honey, come on out. Come on. Charmaine's new gorgeous look. Is that my daughter? I am so excited about Charmaine's look because she was like a tall girl boy and now she's just hot. I was like, girl, when you oh, take them clothes off, you're going to see that body. Look at that boobies. Look at that booty. I mean, we didn't have to do much with her. She was just fabulous. All right. Kim, what do you think now about your cuz? What about your cuz? What's up? What's up? Give it up. That's my cousin. I miss that. That is what I love. But that's what you need to look like. Don't let one boy stop you from looking fly, oh, honey. Yes, How yes, you yes, gonna get that yes, dog if you don't look fly? Don't stop right. me to say no. Yeah, yeah. Right, so that's that's my are baby. you feeling good right now about yes, yourself? I feel good. wonderful. So that's much wonderful. coming up. Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> Are you and your siblings constantly fighting? Do you want to work out your differences and put the past behind you? Tell us your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text guest at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Closed captioning of The Bill Cunningham Show is provided by... From big to beautiful. Here is your woman that you have spent long, long hours degrading and humiliating. Here she is. What do you say, Randall? That's a plus 10 right there. Frumpy to fabulous. <laughs> With one more to go. And here is what Janelle looks like. Janelle, come on out. Show us what you got. These ladies are gorgeous, big, and beautiful. And finally, Janelle, her mother, Carol, thinks Janelle has let herself go because of her weight. And that was before Tiana got on the job. That's right, Tasty. You got to get her ready. Here's what Janelle looked like before. How are we looking? She looking good. She about to get her J-O-B-B. Let's do this. <laughs> and here is what she now looks like. Janelle, come on out. Show us what you got. That's how I'm mother wanted to see her. That's how I'm mother You are hired. But that's how we do it. Oh my goodness. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's right my there. grandson, mama. My grandson, mama. Have a seat. Sit down here. Sit down. Tell me. Tiana, what is oh, Mama. But that's why we do what we do, and that's why. Are they you okay, okay so, honey? Yeah, I am. Because You're strong enough to cry. I know, but um, that's oh. why we do what we do because make when you look better, you, you feel, feel better, better, and and you get to get your goal. I know hair, it's not all about looks. Job. Of course, you got to be in the end. But these ladies, they all three were so beautiful inside. So just to be involved in their world, and I helped them from A to Z, from last night to now, and I'm just so happy. And to see your mother react like that is making me react. And I'm a G, and I'm crying. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's do it. Before we leave this segment, yeah. honey, I love a strong woman that can yeah. shed a tear. <laughs> what general advice you want to give to a husband, to a best friend, to a cousin, to mothers about their daughters right. and their treatment of them? And can they stay like this 
permanently. They can stay like that permanently. It's all about loving yourself. And when you love yourself, you make sure you look good. You make sure you feel good. But you guys, you guys have to be their support system. It's not easy. Along the way, they lost themselves. And that's a mental thing. Y'all can't be sitting there thinking that, tell them they fat, tell them they ugly, tell them that's going to help them. You have to really sit down and be like, listen, this is how you used to look. And I just want you to be great at what you do. And a look will allow you to be great. But you lay it's up to you to keep looking like this. When you walk it, you talk it, you're going to look good. They look hey, wonderful. You know, as a man, I look at women like this, and I see big, beautiful, confident, gorgeous, attractive women ready to confront those who would hurt them like a husband, like a mother, like woman, a cousin. If you want to keep your woman, you better treat your woman right, because she don't got to say and take this. Look at that, honey. She can go get another man. So what's going on? And cousin, I might have to send us some more tasty dresses. You better get your stuff together yeah. now. <laughs> There's one spouse, and that's you. What are now your feelings about your wife that you agreed for all of life's days to be committed to her? What do you have to say to your wife now? Wow, she is a gorgeous woman. And I'm sorry for breaking down and treating you wrong. Give me a woman a kiss. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. And forget about those other women. Forget about those other. Want to take a peek behind the cameras? Look, if you're always teasing a loved one with a weight problem, here's the bottom line. These packages are beautiful, but the person inside is what really matters. A packaging is one thing. A product is something else. And these women are big, gorgeous, beautiful women that deserve love from a spouse from a cousin and from mothers. It is time for these families to love these women who they truly are. Despite the packaging, these are three gorgeous women who deserve and are entitled to your love, to your love, and to both of your loves. I wanna thank all my guests for coming in and I'll see you the next time.